Welcome everybody to the newest series on my channel. We're going to be playing Ultra Hardcore, but it's going to be in single player with a little bit of a twist. Well, not really a twist, but even more of an advanced challenge. Our goal is to defeat both the Ender Dragon and the Wither Boss uh, while um, surviving in any way possible. Excuse me. Um, we're going to be playing it on the ultra hardcore mode, which means that there's going to be no health regeneration uh, unless you use golden apples or potions of health or regeneration. And it's going to be in hardcore mode, which means you only get one life. If you die by any way, uh, the world's going to be deleted and that's going to be the end of our season. So, without further ado, just name the world. It's in hard hardcore mode. World options are set to same thing uh, random seed we'll just type in our YouTube name I would do season because they bear season one and create new world and here we go loading up the world any second now we should be loaded up uh, oh, awesome. We spawned right by a village. Perfect. Alright, so now let me do something real fast. Open to LAN and put that on so we can get our game rules. Slash game rule natural generation false. And we're good to go, everybody. Alright, so let's go check out what this village has to offer. And this is an awesome place to set up shop. I can't believe how lucky we got with this seed. Let's see. Wheat. Iron. That's not too bad of a trade. We got bookshelves. More wheat, guys. Cook fish. Uh, this is going to be the coup de gras. Or whatever, whatever that saying is. What we got in here? Please, something good. Obsidian and a saddle. We got obsidian. We can make an enchantment table with this. So perfect. All we need really two diamonds that we have in the enchantment table. We don't even need the ones to mine the obsidian. Alright. That's awesome. That is a really good start. Now, hopefully the farms have just making sure my sound was on. Because I forgot to check that and I just about had a mini heart attack thinking that my sound might have been off. I think we're gonna look that's gonna be our home for the night. Are there even any farms here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no farms in this village. Oh, no. Dang it. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to rely on apples and just make a wheat farm really fast. That's okay. That's doable. That's doable. We're okay. We can get potatoes and stuff from uh, killing zombies. I'm sure there's, they're gonna flock here. Let's just go check out our surroundings. We got a cave opening there we got a swamp over here so we can get some slimes if we ever need to make leads and let's let's get some trees going so we can get our starter materials going here uh, like in my normal episodes I think I'm gonna break these into 20 minute uh, little series but unlike on the Cro-Magnon server where I just kinda give you guys little updates and things like that. I think I'm going to show the majority of the work off camera unless I'm doing something, you know, just super, super grindy. But, uh, you know, the usual stuff, I will be. Uh, I, I didn't get the getting wood achievement, so now I'm going to have to get the bench making achievement again, which that isn't too bad. It isn't too, that isn't too hard to do. So, uh, another one of our goals is to get all the achievements. So. There we go. Got those two achievements already. We're gonna be able to get a good bit of the achievements just in this first episode underway. I th think chickens are gonna be a good source of food for us too, so I wanna get those. I wanna get the chickens rounded up as fast as possible, maybe find a horse. Alright. So, let's place this down. Let's get us a pick going. We'll go get some stone and get some of the basic tools. Uh, let's where we want to go. I think over here looks like there might be a little area we can collect some stone. Watch out! Oh, there's a mob. We don't want to attract his attention because 
I am uploading to YouTube now, and I'm uploading my fourth episode in the Crow Magnet server right now, so I'm not sure what the lag is going to be like on here. It shouldn't be too bad because I'm on single player, but you never know. And sorry for the uh, lack of videos on the Crow Magnet server lately and everything. Uh, I've been trying to upload them, and I've even left notes on my computer throughout the night because my parents like to get up really early. And like uh, I was out today, and the video was uploading today. And I come home from my girlfriend's house hoping to see the video uploaded and it doing well. And I get home and that computer's off and I go and look and it's, the video's stuck uh, endlessly processing, which pretty much means that it was shut off during the process of it being uploaded and it's stuck in a glitched out um, rendered state, which sucks. Uh, so... I've had to restart uh, the upload. This is going to be the third time now. Hopefully the final time. And hopefully I'll be able to get this ep the episode out to you. Alright, so let's collect a little bit more wood here. And then we'll go and collect some seeds and get the farms rolling. Be able to collect a couple of apples while we're out here to kind of sustain us throughout the first throughout the first night. Excuse me again. I have a uh, diet Sierra Mist right by me, so uh, the bubbles are causing me to burp a little bit. But what can you do? I suppose nothing really. All right, this is going good. I haven't seen any horses. Hopefully, we can find a a horse somewhere in this plains by. It looks pretty decent. How much wood do we got? Let's get a little bit more just so we can get underway. And then we'll be good to go and we'll go start on some farms. And our main goal is to protect those villagers because I think vi uh, having villagers could be an awesome uh, way to uh, get materials such as, you know, uh, diamond tools and stuff like that or maybe or even iron stuff right at the bat to kind of minimize the time that we have to spend caving and is this uh, no it's on hardcore I'm just wondering why my hunger hasn't been going down but I guess okay we we're not going down there there's some easy iron but we're gonna go elsewhere to find it because we are not taking on a skeleton that is the biggest no-no in ultra hardcore mode ever so maybe down here there could be some iron, perhaps. There's all right. We already got our blacksmith is already trapped down here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hard. Apologize if you hear things in the background. My little brother likes to watch wrestling and flail, flail around and act retarded. So I apologize for that. I think I'm going to try and record... Oh, good. We got enough iron for a bucket already. That's awesome. Nice, nice. Let's go grab some of this coal here. Keep right here. Those villagers yelling, so I'll turn them down a little bit. I think that friendly creature, that should turn it down. That works out swimmingly. One second, I'm going to tell him to be quiet. I don't know if you can hear him, but I can, and it's annoying. Alright, thank you for your patience, everybody. Collect up this coal so we can make some torches and light up the inside of the huts. There we go. Now let's throw some of these torches down right now. And bam, just to get this area lit up. Good. Good, this guy got out of there. Alrighty. Now let's gather up some seeds. We want to get at least a stack and 16 seeds. Just so we can make the full 9x9 nine nine with the one water block in the middle uh, farm. So hopefully we can get that fast and then we will 
start lighting up the insides of the villages if we can't get that by the first night. Uh, also, one thing that I'm going to try and do, at least for the first couple episodes, to make it a little bit harder, is to... Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure, because there's a lot of sheep around, so I could sleep through the night, but I'm not sure if that's considered cheating or not. So I'm not going to sleep in the first episode, and whenever I... No, actually, I want to please bulk. So I'm not going to sleep in a bed for the first recording session, but uh, after I get your guys' feedback, you let me know what you think. If you think I should sleep in a bed, just to try and make this, the series more feasible to where there's not so much downtime of me just kind of sitting aside, then I will sleep in bed. But once again, it's up to you, because I know um, uh, Paul Swords Jr. does a series uh, with his son. Oop, lag spike. Another lag spike. All right, good. More apples, more apples. That'll sustain our food wise. Ooh, another apple. Good, good. This is good. Apples are a good source of food when they spawn in the forest area for the first, for the first couple of, uh, minutes of playtime. But we're going here. Then the sun is starting to set, so let's hurry up. This this is a nice looking area too. Um, I. A lot of people, they like to keep the tall grass and plains, but I think it looks so much better just with the nice flat land. For some reason, I don't know why. I, do, I like the flat land a lot better. I don't know, I just, I think it looks a lot more clean. I think the chickens are probably one of those, so probably not the best to break it with that. There. And my timer went off. So let's get that back. My girlfriend says she's falling asleep. <laughs> I don't think she knows I'm recording. Oh, another cave. Well, I'm going to go in there. Actually. Okay, let's get we're going into the danger zone. Let's get these last few seeds. Let's try and just get a stack. Maybe. Let's clock up these last few. There we go. Good. Clocked up an egg. Alright, now let's go. Block, block these guys in, in their houses. Nobody in here. Everybody's in there. You're all safe. Alright, quick before the zombies come. In here, you're safe. Good. Get in. Go in, go. Go, buddy. You can do it. Go. Alright. And here, lit up. Are they in there? Come on, buddy. You can do it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on, go. Go up there. Come on. Come on, follow me. Let's go. Go in. Come on, you can do it. Go in. Go in. Go in. No, come on. You need. Just get off of there and go there and and there. Now climb. Go up. Come on. Get in. The zombies are gonna come. Look, there's people. Get in. Get in the base. Get in. Get in. All right, block you off. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cow. All right, come on. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Hello. All right, we're going to block this up. Hey, hello. You're my friend. Melons. Hello, my lover. Don't you come over here. I'm going to get you in the corner. I love you, my savior. You are going to be key in this. Instant health potions. Hello. That's awesome. All right. Let's... I'll keep this on for quick crafting. Now let's start the item sorting. Bam. Let's, let's just get a stack of this wood and just turn it into chests. And it's raining. Oh joy. Oh, excuse me, once again. Alright, we'll put. Cobblestone. Uh, put 
oak wood, and, uh, birch wood, but farm stuff. Um, rare stuff. I guess this will go in the rare stuff for now, along with the coal. And um, certain finds. Um, that can go there. Not sure what to put in there yet. I don't know. So we'll just put those two things in there. Alright, well, there's not much left I can do on the first night, and we're already 15 minutes in, so I think this might be a good wrapping up point for the first episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to record probably three or four more of these tonight, and just have them in bulk uh, for bulk storage. So I'm going to resume the next episode right here after, uh, after the, the night is up, so I want to thank you all watching this first episode hopefully we'll be able to defeat the under dragon in the first season and uh yeah wish me luck until the next episode guys peace out have a good day bye, -bye.